What's up guys, it's Adam here from Shreddy Breck, aka Mr. Clangin' and Bangin'. And today is the last day of 2016. So, today I want to talk about my shows this year, bodybuilding shows this year, and what's coming up, what my plans are for 2017. So to put 2016 in a nutshell for bodybuilding for me, it was dog shit. And I don't just mean dog shit. I mean, it was a dog shit sandwich. That's what 2016 was for me. Why? Well, I was getting ready for the North Britain. Six weeks out, looking decent, pretty good, on track. Probably the best I'd looked that far out. Um, and in the last six weeks, basically just tossed it off. Um, training took a nose dive. Diet took a bit of a nose dive. Wasn't hitting the gym as much when I was gone. I wasn't in for as long as I should have been. Just other things in life um, sort of took over. Couldn't, you know, I was just, not to use it as an excuse, but I was prioritising other things over the gym, over the contest prep. And if I was just getting ready for a holiday to go away on the summer, that would have been fine. But when you're stepping on stage with, you know, five, ten other like-minded people who are all getting ready for the same show, this was a slap in the face and a quick learning curve for me that if I'm not putting 100% in, I'm going to come last, and to be honest, it's a feeling that I never want to have again. Got a little bit disheartened. Um, I shouldn't have even redone really the show, to be honest, but I did. Um, and looking back, I wish I didn't, because I wasn't ready for the show. You know, I was probably about two months away from... The, I looked better six weeks out than I did on show day. I was probably on show day about eight weeks out still from condition that would have, you know, looked good on stage. So, I dwelled on that for a little bit. You know, I went on a holiday not long after. Training was sort of so-so, diet was so-so. And then I just got sick of, you know, being in that rut of, you know, not training properly again, not dieting properly again. So the past couple of months, I started dieting a little bit better. Training's been spot on, and I'm just motivated now for not just 2017, this is not just New Year's resolutions, New Year, New Me bullshit, because that is just, you know, it's crap. When you see all that New Year, New Me stuff on Facebook, people saying they go in the gym, then two days later they're about on the pace, or they don't go to the gym anymore. That's not what I'm talking about here. For me, what I'm talking about is my bodybuilding goals, 2017. And it's simple, not to come last at the Nova. North Britain. That's the show that I'm aiming to do. That's what I want to do. Um, and I honestly think that the only way I could come last again is by not, is by fucking it off again. By basically not sticking to me diet, not sticking to me training. If I came second last, I would see it as a mini, I'd still be disappointed obviously, but I'd see it as a mini achievement because I haven't came last again. Um, sounds stupid. I know that a goal is not to come last, but just because of how I felt this year, um, my goal going forward this year is to actually not come last, but to actually give it me hundred percent effort and put everything into me training, everything into me diet, and stick with it until the show, do the show, so I can step off stage regardless of the result and know that yeah, I did everything I did there. I did everything over the past four week, yeah, four months, sixteen, seventeen weeks to actually you know achieve what I've achieved on stage. So that's my goals for and my immediate goals anyway for 2017 when it comes to bodybuilding so how am i going to do it that's the that's the kicker so today is new year's eve tomorrow is i think it's 17 it could be 16 but i think it's 17 weeks out from the naba north britain which is the first show that i'm aiming to do so what i'm going to be doing is starting my contest prep tomorrow and contest prep for me, it's not dramatically different from the way I eat now. It's breakfast is the same, three meals throughout the day before I train are the same. The only thing that changed really is the flexibility of, you know, if I'm out on a weekend, I w when I'm in prep, I won't go for a meal. I'll prepare everything, take it with me. I will not eat out for the duration of the contest prep. Some people do eat out, some people eat out throughout the full prep, some people maybe, you know, for the first eight, ten weeks, whatever. But for me, I just want to have everything controlled. I want to know precisely 
quantities I'm eating, how much, you know, carbs, protein, fats, calories and everything that I'm preparing, everything that I'm eating. And by preparing that, I know that I have full control over everything I'm eating. And I think if I'm just in that routine, it's easier for me. Some people prefer, prefer flexible dieting. Um, and when I'm bulking or not in contest prep, I enjoy doing that. But when I'm in contest prep, I just like things simple. So I like the same breakfast or a choice of two breakfasts, you know, could be cereal, cornflakes or ice krispies with eggs or protein shake with porridge or protein powder mixed in with my oats. Simple, that's all I'll do. And then throughout the full prep, that's my meal, that's my breakfast. Throughout um, the day, it's meat and rice, normally chicken or turkey and rice. Pretty simple. And then later into my prep, things get a little bit more flexible in terms of the quantities I'm having when I start carb cycling. So I'll change the times. Um, some days I'll have carbs more in the morning. Sometimes I have carbs more around my workout. It just depends on how many total carbs I have um, for that day as to, you know, how I'm eating or how I'm dieting for that day. But that won't be until, you know, weeks and weeks down the line when I start uh, start the carb cycling. Training split over the past couple of weeks, I've been adding power movements in. So I've started leg sessions off with a squat, something I've not done in years. Started um, push sessions off with a bench press or an overhead press, depending on which muscle group I'm hitting first. Um, and on the pull days, I've been starting off with a deadlift. And I'll do those sessions, a heavy session, three times a week. So once for... Um, legs once for a push once for pull and then the second workout because i train everything twice has been higher reps so i'll start the exercise the workout off again with that power movement exercise but it's lower intensity and it's more speed speed reps just to help me get that strength up i've been doing that for the last couple of weeks uh, maybe the last two months or so I've been enjoying it. It's something a little bit different to my normal split it's kept me interested in training kept me excited about training but I think what I'm going to do when I start contest prep is go back to my usual six day split, which long time viewers um, of Shreddy Breck will know that it's shoulders and legs, um, chest and biceps, back and triceps. And that's not a workout I've invented. That's a workout that Eddie Elwood um, gave to me. So I don't want to, you know, expose the full workout or say what the full workout is because I didn't create that. Let's just say you can't spell Shreddy without Eddie Elwood. So that's what I'm going to be doing, going back to his um, six day split for the um, contest prep. And again, that's a heavy and a pumping session. So I'm still getting those heavy movements in. It's just the muscle groups I train will be a little bit different um, on different days. But the workout is very, very similar to what I've been doing the past couple of months anyway, but just different enough where when I start my prep, it's going to pique my interest again and I'm not going to lose interest, you know, two, three months, months down the line. That's my training, that's my diet, and then the third key, the third ingredient in this big old bowl of shreddy break is consistency, and it's just doing everything right. It's sticking to the plan. It's not getting tempted to fuck training off one day. It's not getting tempted to go and have a cheat meal. It's not getting tempted to you know deviate from the diet. It's just being consistent, and if I can take it day by day, then I should be able to do it okay. I've done it before. So this year for me, it's like a proven year to see if, you know, I can get back on track, get in good shape again and see how well I can do um, competing this year. You may not be wanting to compete, but you might follow me. You may never, ever want to compete, but you might follow, you know, the Shreddy Break YouTube, Facebook, website, blog, whatever, Instagram, little plugs there. Go and follow them, go and subscribe. But if you have any goal for 2017, um... Just apply yourself to it and, you know, I hope that as I'm going to be doing my journey throughout the next couple of months, even if your goal isn't a fitness goal, even if it's a fitness goal but it's nothing to do with bodybuilding or nothing to do with, you know, competing, I hope that sort of my progress or my updates um, in some small way might be able to help you guys out, might be able to, you know, help you guys stick to your plan, your goals, whatever it may be. Um... If you have any questions throughout, you know, what the videos I'm going to be coming up with, the series that I'll be doing, just shoot them in the comments and um, follow me on YouTube, shoot them in the comments there. You can get in touch with me on the Facebook page. So pretty accessible. Um, and that's it for today though, guys. So it's about 10 minute video. 
I've been Shreddy Breck. This morning, I'm going to go at the gym. I'm going to be clanging and banging, hitting a heavy back workout. But until next time, guys, keep clanging and banging.